Hello, my name is Kerry from Kerry's Card Creations. Welcome. Um, I'm back again today with my second video for the Fancy Frock Fold Craft Challenge. This is hosted by Monica Wakluska. She is the paper mona here on YouTube. Um, every month, on the 5th of every month, um, a, a new fold is announced and anybody can take part. So you can use the hashtag FFC Challenge 2023 or there is a Facebook group. It's called Fancy Fold Craft Challenge and anybody can take a photo of what they've made and pop it in the group to show everybody. That's really lovely. Um, uh, the other people that do videos here on YouTube. So obviously there's Monica Wakluska, the paper mona. Then there is Christine from Christine's Cards and Things. Then there is Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts, Katerina who is Create with Katerina, Monica who is Crafting with Quilling Lady. There's another lady that's just joined this month, Sabine. She is Cross Keys Crafts and then myself. And um, I will link in the description box everybody's channel and all the details of the um, challenge. So if you want to have a go, Please do go and have a look at the other ladies. It's always really lovely to see how other people interpret different things. So for the month of October, the card was a diagonal joyfold card. Okay, so um, this is now my fifth time of trying to film this. We've had visitors and technical difficulties so I've got some samples of my version of the Diagonal Joyfold card. Now you can make this card, I'm assuming in any size. I've been and checked out some um, others to have a look, see. Any size and you can make it either landscape or portrait. And I've made, I love six by six cards. So all mine are six by six and I've made all mine landscape. So this is the first one. No, it's not. This is the last one I did when my camera stopped filming. So that goes like that and that goes like that. Isn't that pretty? It's a lovely fold card. It is really lovely. So that's the, that was the last one I made. Uh, this was the first one that I made. So I didn't get my piece central. So that threw me off a little bit. And I don't suppose it has to be as long as it's inside there and it doesn't interfere with that flat. But it still annoys me that it's not central. So that's that one. That's the first one I made. And the second one I made and my absolute favourite is this one. I think that is beautiful. And it goes like that. I think that's really lovely. Okay. So... I have got to make this to make my version of the joyful card. I have got a piece of white card. This measures 29 centimeters by 14.5 centimeters. So I'm just making sure I've got my measurements where I can see them. 29 centimeters by 14.5 centimeters, and I've scored it down the middle at 14.5 centimeters. And then I'm going to cut. So I'm just going to turn that over so that my fold is on the other side. I'm going to cut from the top of the centre score line down to the bottom left corner. So I'm just going to cut. Like that. Okay, so that's what I've got. Okay, so I'm just going to fold and burnish that score line. I wonder if I cut that right because that looks a bit short to me. Okay, so to decorate this inside piece here, this piece of coloured card measures... 14 centimetres by 14 centimetres. 
and my pattern paper measures 13.5 by 13.5 okay so I'm just going to glue those together it is very early <laughs> and I haven't been to I haven't started work yet so my glue's probably right so then to decorate this piece here what i did was is, is i cut a piece of colored card the same as the inside one, 14 centimetres by 14 centimetres. And I cut it in half diagonally to give me the shape I needed. Now, for some unknown reason, my mine is a little bit... My point doesn't quite meet, so I, somewhere along the line I've not cut that quite right. So I'm just going to take a smidgen off of there. But if you've cut your white right, then it'll fit lovely. Okay, so that's that piece that goes there. So then my pattern paper is um, also 13.5 by 13.5. And again, I've cut it in half diagonally. Um, just to say, if you've got a directional paper and you're making this card, just make sure that when you cut your paper piece, if you're doing it the same as me, you need to cut it from the top left to the bottom right corner so that your pattern is facing the right way because otherwise um, your pattern will be wrong. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm just going to put that on there. Oh dear. Right, so that's that bit done. So then, um, to make this inside piece, I've got a piece of white card. This piece measures um, 23 centimetres by 10 centimetres. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've scored it on the long side at 11.5 centimetres. So I'm just going to fold that in half. And burnish. Now, what I did was then I glued this to the center of this panel here so i'm just going to do that now so just make sure if your uh, your opening is facing to your left okay so i'm just gonna line that up oh, oh, no, it's not quite right there Oh, gosh, Kerry, that was really... Uh... Okay. So you want it so that your opening is to your left and your score line is on your right. Okay. So um, I've decorated both the inside section and the outside section. So I've got two pieces of colored card these measure 9.5 by 11 and two pieces of pattern paper these measure 9 by 
Okay. What oh, and then the glue's gonna stop. Okay. One on the front of there. Okay, so then that folds over like that and that folds over like that and that's what gives you the um, fold. Okay, so then what I did was, is um, I have got, uh, we might have to see if I've got something else because it looks like I've lost my bits. I've got a piece of, no I haven't got a piece, <laughs> I've got a circle that I've die cut out of my coloured card and then I've die cut one out of my <clears throat> excuse me white and I did have some uh, bits that I cut but it looks like they've gone missing that's not quick it let's see if I've got anything else I can use to hand I did start, I did cut myself a um, reindeer, but uh, it looks like he's uh, gone quite strong. <clears throat> so I'm just going to make myself a um, topper. So I'm just going to put this on the foam pads. Okay, let's put that on there. Okay. Sorry, it threw me off a bit that I can't find my um, reindeer that I had cut and coloured. I thought all the bits was together. Anyway, let's, uh, we'll use what I've got. We'll carry on with what I have. <laughs> okay. So I've just got some um, ivy that I've stamped. I have always got toppers of some sort on my desk that I've um, made and not made into cards. I'll finish filming and then I'll find the uh, reindeer you watch. It's always the way, isn't it? So this is a bit of this is a bit of a, a lane swerve for me now. Okay. Let's put it on this side. Ooh. 
well we're still filming so it looks like i've fixed my um technical difficulties i was having I think it's because I film on my phone um, eventually it gets it takes up all the storage on my phone especially the videos and I take a, a lot of photos I'm a prolific photo taker in the middle like that. okay so I see I've got a little robin there but I've also got um, Merry Christmas do I just pop Merry Christmas yeah I got a piece of red card let's find a piece of red card <laughs> So let's just make a sentiment quickly. So this measures one and a half. I think that's one and a half by six. So I want this two by six and a half. onto the front there stick that on there like that stick that on my tree <clears throat> and put a foam tag either side And then I've got a little robin that I'm just going to stick on the end there. And then, <clears throat> lastly, I've got a sentiment to go inside. Winter wishes. I'm just going to pop inside. There you go. So there is my um, joyfold, diagonal joyful card. Um, so like I say, I will um, put a link in the description, uh, excuse me, I will put a link in the description bar of everybody else that's taking part of all the details of this challenge. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial today and I will be back again soon. Till then, take care. Bye bye.